Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has promised a multi-billion dollar stimulus package if he's elected on October 31st. Parliament has been dissolved, setting the stage for campaigning to begin next week. Mr. Kishida is seeking the public's mandate for his policies after being elected just 10 days ago. His ruling party will face the opposition in a battle over who can better fix the economy. The response to COVID-19 will also be center stage. Mr. Kishida's Liberal Democratic Party is hoping to capitalize on a recent decline in coronavirus cases. But major opposition parties are in talks to offer a united front against the LDP. Michio Ishida joins us live from Tokyo for more on this. Uh, Michio, the date has been set and it's going to be an unusually brief battle. That's correct. Well, Prime Minister uh, Kishida dissolved parliament just 10 days after taking office. Uh, that's the quickest um, for a prime minister in the post-war era. And campaigning will be 17 days. Now, Mr. Kishida said the reason why he called for elections so quickly is because uh, lower house term expires on October 21st, and he didn't want to leave a vacuum for too long. But what analysts here think is that he uh, wanted to face elections before his public approval rating falls. Usually, a new cabinet starts with high approval rating. Now, the Kishida cabinet did not rise as much as the Yoshihide Suga cabinet when it was launched last year. And if COVID-19 situation worsens, this may not be good for him. Now, currently um, here in Japan, daily cases are low. Uh, Tokyo, for instance, has reported uh, uh, below uh, 100 cases six days in a row. And that's for a, a city with a population of over 14 million. Um, uh, but uh, Mr. Kishida said that he wants to prepare with countermeasures and he will announce specific measures on Friday. And now he seems to be brushing up on his policies uh, with the election now coming up. Uh, this includes promoting uh, growth and redistribution of wealth um, for a new style of capitalism uh, with public and private uh, contribution. And he wants to promote the rural area through digitalization. But he said that it's really up to the electors to decide. And what about the opposition, Michio? How big a challenge is the ruling party facing? Well, you know, the LDP won a big majority four years ago. Um, it's natural to think that the LDP will lose some seats, but um, analysts uh, think that um, it will be very difficult for the opposition's parties to uh, win uh, more seats at this time. Although the opposition parties are trying its best by unifying and um, fielding uh, one candidate in each constituency as much as possible. For instance, the Jap uh, Japan Communist Party uh, decided to um, uh, not to field uh, its 20 plus uh, candidates and constituencies to um, uh, make room for the biggest opposition party, Constitutional Democratic Party. So opposition parties are trying to do their best. Uh, but uh, perhaps we should watch for the political leaders debate, which is coming up next week and how the political leaders fare in this debate will may also um, have a big impact on how voters will um, uh, cast their ballots in the election on October 31st. Yeah, lots to look forward to. Many thanks for getting us up to speed. Michio Shida speaking to us from Tokyo.